Hey everybody, I'm Rob Childs, the Rapier Swordsman out of the United States, and today's video I'm going to be covering down on a drill that was taught to me by my very first fencing instructor. Uh, this was back when I was doing Olympic. Uh, I was training for Hungarian Sabre, and uh, I found this drill to be so useful that it has followed me ever since, and I use it to this day in my rapier training of my own students. So the drill is called Around the World, and the reason why I like this drill so much is because of the fact that I, as a fencer, like to work on drills that work on more than one thing at a time. Let's face it, we're all very busy and we want to maximize the amount of training time that we are putting into our art. So this drill works on a number of different aspects. It works on multiple parries, multiple attacks. It works on also increasing your endurance. It's just an overall well-rounded around the world drill. And today I'm going to show you how it works. So uh, for today's video, I've actually got a special guest in, originally from China. This is Dajian. Dajian, everybody, everybody, Dajian. So he is going to be helping me to demonstrate this drill called Around the World. All right. So we take our position. Now the reason why this is called Around the World is because it's going to cover to the left, to the top, and to the right. And we're going to use the parries of three, five, and four in my system. And from there, you're going to see how we also are going to incorporate attacks to each of these areas in order to make for a well-rounded and reflexive reaction to every one of these motions, right? So it starts off with, I attack my opponent in three and they will parry in three. And then the opponent will respond in kind by attacking back to my three and I will parry in three. From here, I go to an attack in his five. Then that person responds with an attack to my five. And then I go to a parry four, or sorry, an attack in four. And then my opponent will attack me in four, and I respond with a parry in four. Now, each time you go through these attacks and parries, it's very important that you are watching to be exact in your technique. Because you're going to be doing this over and over again, you want to ensure that you are reinforcing good, solid technique. Because if you practice it with a flaw, then when you do it for real, or you're sparring even just at a practice, that's exactly how it's going to come out. So you want to be very concerned with making sure that you're doing this with exacting technique, right? So one more time, all together, it will look like to the three and the three, and the five to the five to the four to the four, and then back to the three and the three, the five, the five, the four, and the four, just like that. Now, as you get better at it, your movements are going to come much quicker and that's actually a good thing as long again as you are practicing with good solid technique because you want to get to the point where you don't even have to think about it and then you're going to increase the difficulty of that particular drill by incorporating movement because if you're a student of mine or if you're a follower of my ways you already understand every time you're attacked there are two things you will always do and that is retreat and parry you start that by incorporating movement into your opponent's actions. So for this part of the drill, Dajan is going to be serving as the person who is being attacked. So therefore, every attack I give to him, he's going to take a small step back and parry, just like so. It starts nice and slow, where it will be. I attack him and he will retreat and parry. And then he will return the attack to me. I don't retreat. I return another attack to the five and to my five. Now I go to his four, and he returns to my four. And again, nice and slow through the whole sequence. And one, and two, and three. Just like that. Go. Hey everybody, I hope you found this video useful. I'm telling you, this is a drill that I use to this day. It is both for my benefit as well as the benefit to my students. Uh, as I said, our time is valuable and this drill works on multiple things at one time. So you will find that it will help you, I think, as it has helped me. And as always, I am more than happy to answer questions where uh, any may be. So feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. You can also post those questions on the YouTube uh, page itself. But don't forget, there's also a Patreon channel out there called Castle and Sword, whereby you will get access to exclusive content. You'll get video updates of the castle property, where if you haven't already heard, I am indeed building a castle, a place where all swordsmen can come in order to train. Big things are coming in the future, so please feel free. Have a look around, and if it's for you, you know, 
by all means, feel free to sign up and I'll be happy to see you there.